Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. It's been a little while um, in between drinks, but I'm back again. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, I have been making... I have been making videos of stuff. Um, I haven't been uploading too much of the footage. I just wanted to keep a little bit of it, um, keep a little bit of the kind of cool stuff for later, so to speak. Um, this is uh, Doobie. You guys have met him before. Um, he wants to come outside for a little bit of a, a chat today. But um, there's lots going on outside. There's a brand new garden that I need to show you, um, but I'll probably do that in a little bit of a later video once it's set up properly. But today, the reason why you're clicking on this video is because I and my family, Steph and I, got ducklings. So um, we're really excited. We've got two baby ducklings. I'll take you right into the bathroom now. We've got them under the heat lamp um, so that they uh, are, you know, kind of a little bit warmer. It's a little bit chilly. I'm going to take them out into the sun with you guys and uh, show you kind of them playing in the pool or something and uh, show you them, introduce you to them. Uh, they're unnamed currently and uh, we're looking for names, so any suggestions down below. But uh, I'm excited. Doobie's got some new friends and uh, the farm is coming to life. So let me show you, let me take you inside and uh, introduce you. They are just so cute. I just can't get over it. And Doobie loves his new friends too. So they're having a drink at the moment. They're making quite a mess of this box. They haven't been in it very long, but they're making a mess of it. They've got their specially formulated uh, duck feed for when they're uh, when they're young, and um, just some water there in the other bowl. Obviously, they love that. So we're going to take them outside for a swim and uh, and see whether they like the outdoors because. Um, I'm sure they're gonna love the setup that I've got for them out there. Oh my God, they're just so cute. Look. <laughs> oh my God, just adorable. I can't wait for you guys to grow up. First things first, just gonna quickly top up uh, some of their feed. Um, now, like I said, it's a, a duck mash. Um, let me show it to you here. It's. Riviera duck mash. Um, this is a five kilo bag. Uh, it's basically from Kapalaba produce and you can get a whole bag of it and it's a whole bunch of seeds including, well, medications, things like this um, for the ducklings and they, uh, yuck guys. Oh man. They're just, they poo over everything. Anyway, it's all the uh, medications and stuff and seeds and all the good things that young ducklings need to to grow and um, if any of you guys haven't checked out any of the videos regarding ducks or if you have ducks head over to my friend Yanni's channel you have to check it out he is the master of ducks um, I guess kind of inspired me in a way to get ducks I um, originally wanted to get some chickens and uh, I will be getting chickens down the line because we want them all to grow up together and uh, ducks I really wanted to get down the line as well but I saw these guys and I just couldn't um, possibly go past them. Steph absolutely fell in love with them and uh, she had to nag me to get them as well and we just, you know, my arm was very easily twisted because <laughs> I really wanted them. But um, yeah, so we now have uh, two little ducks and we're on our way to getting our farm that, um, yeah, we've always sort of dreamed of creating, even if it's in a little bit of a, a mock kind of situation with a few different animals in our uh, mock house, but you gotta make do with what you gotta do and um, we're making ourselves happy. So let's take these guys outside and get some sunshine. Okay, so I'm trusting him not to fly off um, if any other bird comes towards him because recently they have um, been attacking him for whatever reason. Um, the butcher birds around here, I'm not sure if I may have told you about this already, they like to come and swoop down on him when we least expect it. But anyway, um, we're outside, I'm going to fill up this little, you can see I'm building somewhat of an enclosure here for the, the ducks and uh, chickens. Anyway, we're going to bring them out and put them in the paddling pool. I've already got some water in here and there's a, some bits of seed and bugs that have collected over the last day, so we're going to pop them in and uh, see what they think. 
Look. So cute. Okay, so. All right, guys, who wants to go for a swim? Oh my god! I think they like it. It's a good sign. <laughs> Whoa! Going crazy! They're just so beautiful. Can't get over them. So they're enjoying their little swim. And they're gonna splash around. Come on, go for a swim. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab one. Oh, if I can. <laughs> Here he is. So he or she, I'm not sure yet. So these guys are peeking Peking ducklings. Um, they're going to grow out to be fully white. Um, they are yellow at the moment, as you can see. They're going to be nice and bright white when they grow older. And uh, this one, I think, is ooh, a little boy. Um, I don't know. I just feel like he's got some funny little markings on him or something. I just feel like he might be a little boy. Um, but anyway, I think I might have got one boy and one girl and they're little peeking ducklings and then hopefully if I get a girl, they're going to lay me some eggs. Um, come here. Scratch, scratch. Come on. Come on. Look at these guys. They're loving it. <laughs> Giving themselves a clean. Splash them around. <laughs> they're absolutely loving it. So, this is what it's like hanging out with three birds in the backyard. They're um, gonna get a little bit um, dirty in here, I guess, but I'm gonna clean this water and keep it nice and fresh. And uh, most of the time they'll spend their time down the back. Um, hey, there's my sunflowers. You can see my sunflowers growing up. I need to pick a few of them out because it's quite, a, quite close together. But they're gonna grow up nice and tall. And then there's the back of the yard where all the ducks are gonna hang out. Um, I'll show you their enclosure once it's finished because it's not quite finished so when they go in there I'll be able to show you the progress shots of them entering their new house and uh, kind of go from there. You guys had a good swim? Yeah? You want to go back inside soon? <laughs> oh so cute. flowers. You're a handsome man, did you know? Look at your little friend in there. They're enjoying themselves. You want to go see? Look. 
You wanna go see? Go see what they're doing. You wanna go play in the water too? Oh, you're slipping in. Oh, hey, go away. See, they swoop down on him. They swoop down on my little friends. We gotta protect them. Come on, Doobie, you gotta look after them, eh? Gotta make sure that no one comes and steals our little friends. Doobie's on lookout. Are you gonna jump in there, man? You wanna get in the water? Come on, get in with them. Do you want some help? Or you're probably gonna hate me if I push you in. <laughs> now they're all having a swim. Don't peck them. Doobie's had his wings clipped, obviously, so he can't go very far. Can you, little man? All right. Should we get you guys dry? Get you back inside for a bit? I think you guys have had plenty of time out here now. You've really enjoyed yourselves. Maybe we should put you away in your little thing, get dry. <laughs> so usually I might uh, get him a towel or something and Steph usually cuddles him up and kind of um, wraps him warm. But today I'm just gonna use the sun, I reckon, to, to kind of warm them up. So I might take them into the enclosure that I've built, um, all three of them, sit them down and let them run around and uh, sort of dry off and without the threat of them sort of running away and or being swooped by more of these birds. I don't know if you can see them swooping around, but they really want to just come down and knock one when I'm around. Uh, when I'm not here, they'll attack them. So um, they're vicious things and they're evil, but um, you know, it's part of nature. It's part of how this works. So we've just got to look after our little friends when they're uh, in the garden. So, um, Got to keep vigilant. I'm going to take them inside to the thing and let them dry off and run around, and uh, you guys can see a few clips of that. Some in the back. I'll jump in here because I wanted to show you guys. You can see on this one, the back of his neck. Um, yeah, look at that. There's like a big patch where it's not like no feathers and stuff. And on top of his head, I'm not sure if you can see, or her head, um, there's like a little kind of scar thing as well. I'm thinking that's got something to do with uh, the birthing of all of these chicks. You know, it's pretty natural for these kinds of things to happen. But it'll be super interesting to know whether or not this um, stays there, you know, because it might be something that is kind of there forever or just like while they're young and then the feathers grow out, you know, so you never know. Um, but we're going to figure it out. I just want to jump in and show you because look how crazy weird it looks. <laughs> but I love it. So cute, so unique, so gorgeous.
to go back inside. Now you're all dry and fluffy again. Been out here a little while playing, and you're all dry and fluffy. So we'll take you oh, apart from you. You're a little bit wet on your back still, but they are ready and excited to go in for sleep. They were just curling up on the ground before, so I'm gonna take them inside and get back to some studio work and these guys can have a bit of a sleep and um, we'll see where the day takes us. All right, come on. One. And two. And you, mister. Come on. On my shoulder, please. <laughs> Great. Now, this hut that I've built isn't very tall, so pop their food and water back inside so the little ducklings have something to eat and drink. Now, let's get out of here. So I've got a makeshift door on here at the moment. Let's pull that aside. Okay, let's go. Come on. There we go. All right, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. If you have any suggestions for names for these little guys, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Sayonara, no limit, and uh, have a wonderful day. See ya.